So just like the other Briar Fest, but not a Briar Fest vlog, I will be filming this one walking and talking so you just don't have to look at my Briar models constantly. So today's vlog, I am actually keeping with my schedule and talking about the Briarfest special run models and just the Briarfest models in general because yesterday's um, vlog, which was Saturday's, I kind of stayed with kind of the same theme, but not exactly. So yeah, so anyway, I am going to start with um, Smart and Shiny, who was the celebration um, horse. And this is my opinion. I know I don't have any of them in hand. This is all based off um, the Briars photos and then in hand photos that other people have taken. So personally, inside the box, he does look like really like orangey. I kind of say like a marigold. Um, that's just personally the way I think. And then outside the box, he is a little bit less orange. Um, but he's still not my favorite. Um, I do like the mold. It's not my favorite mold, but I do like the mold. So, you know, I guess as a, you know, celebration model, as you know, you're technically your free model. He is okay. Um, I know I'm walking really slow right now. Anyway, so next on to the two store specials that I can actually think of, which is the Tennessee Titan and Lady C. So Lady C um, was on the bluegrass, bluegrass bandit mold. And she is personally not my favorite. I really don't cannot care for the mold. Um, I have just seen pictures of her inside the box. And she, you know, she looks pretty nice. Um, Tennessee Titan, who is on the bridey mold, or, you know, the setting donkey mold, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love him. He's just so cute. I really hope to get him one day. Um, personally, I just love him. Just because maybe he is not, um, a solid color. Like, I guess a lot of, when you think of a donkey, you know, you think of gray and things like that. But I just love him. He's just so cute looking. And then I know there were, like, um, a porcelain or other models in the store um i was just i guess not that i really don't know who they are i actually don't know the names or anything like that so i apologize i can't give my opinion on that but you know that's just one or two models out of a lot of them so anyway the boots and blings models there were four of them there was two on um they were classic size that i know of one of them was on the bucking bronco mode and the other was like on a rearing stallion and they were okay they're not my favorite you know personally i don't really go for decorator models they just aren't my cup of tea and you know that's just the way i see it so yeah that's my opinion on those so to begin with i may not be the greatest at pronouncing some of the names for the special runs so just bear with me the first one I'm going to start off with is Twill, who is the decorator model for the special runs. And he, I guess, represented denim, kind of like a very, very faded white denim model jeans thing. Yeah, anyway, um, my brain was like, what? What? Um, but I really do not care for any of the decorators, you know, throughout any of the years. I really do not like them. They just aren't my thing. I know some people love decorators, but I really don't. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Next one I'm going to talk about is Short Ribs, who is the pig. Um, every year, you know, they always have a non-equine special run. And this year, you know, I guess in person maybe I would think um, I like him better. You know, it is hard to tell through um, the briar photos. And, you know, seen in hand, he does look okay. You know, he's not my absolute favorite. But, you know, I do like him enough where if I had the chance, I would get him. So next one, how about um, Laredo? Uh, I think that's how you pronounce the name. He was uh, the new mold. Per oh my gosh, no. Uh, just looking at the Briar photo, uh, I immediately did not like him. Personally, I think if he did not have like the ribbons in his mane or whatever, I think I would have liked him a little bit better. But even in hand photos, I saw a few. Um, it, I don't know. His legs just look a little bit wonky to me. Like... He just looks wonky a little bit, so not once again. He's not my favorite, and personally, I actually like Twill more than him. 
and that's saying something because I don't really like decorator models. So after that um, is Ryman, who is American Saddlebred, who is on the that mold, and oh my gosh, I love him. Maybe just because he's a glossy, because I love glossies. Like trust me, I would love him even if he wasn't glossy, but I love him even more because he's glossy. So he's definitely going on my wish list because he's such a beautiful model through um, in Briar's photos and in, in hand-hand photos. So Buckaroo is next, and I have not seen any in-hand photos of him, to tell you the truth. I really have not. So I just have to go based off um, Briar's picture, and he is on the Hull and Pony mold. And I do like that mold. I don't any, own any models on that mold, but I really, really do like that mold. And... I definitely would get him and you know I guess no one else really wanted him as far as I could see um as I couldn't really find any pictures of him so yeah I mean like, he's definitely one of my favorites and then we have the mayor full which is Wyoma and Nyoma I don't know I know I'm probably seeing that one wrong it's the it's the mayor full that were that Palooza's um I love them they are one of my favorites and you know they just oh i just love i, I guess i just love mayor and foals like you know i did like hansel and gretel obviously did not go but i did not get them but um they are so cute um i do have um stage mom child star obviously and i love them you know i just love mayor and foal sets i guess they're just so cute and you know they do have personality you know they just really do so definitely good also the on also i love the leaf fire mold and sissy on Session? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Mold. So, yeah. And then we have the CC Shuffle. Um, as far as what CC stands for, um, probably something country or country something shuffle. I don't know, but that mold was on the Roxy mold, and I personally do not really care for the Roxy mold. Um, there were four different variations um, that I know of. I know they posted on Facebook prior to, like, how many were of each, and, you know, um, the sets there was uh ooh, turning around now Whee! oh my finger is getting in the video for a little bit <laughs> um they posted you know there were some that were glossy and some that were um matte and um i say i'm in a lot i'm so sorry but they did not really do anything for me i know there was a gray one there is a pinto there is also a Oh my gosh, I'm blanking in Appaloosa. And then the fourth one is escaping me. I really have no clue. But none of them really, I guess, wowed me. And I know people, you know, I guess they just love the surprise model. But personally, I would not pay that much. Especially for, like, uh, a model that I don't really care for. Or even a mold, like, really. So those are personally just my opinions. And my phone just buzzed. Wow, I get a lot of texts when I'm filming. The last model that I almost forgot about was Two Step, who was on the Destato mold and was the Marsh Tacky. Uh, once again, not my cup of tea. Personally, I do not really care for any of the new molds that Briar released last year or this year. I just really do not like them. And that, you know, does affect my opinion on the model, you know, because if I don't really care for the mold, why would I want the model? So it's just one of those things i mean i know i guess you could say um you could fall in love with the mold well i really don't really care for it i have seen in hand photos i don't really just care for the mold at all and i know my opinion might be different if i actually saw them in person but as far as that goes um it's not happening um personally so yeah i have to live through the internet so anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed uh this briar fest but not briar fest vlog series I know I definitely um, enjoyed filming the videos, um, whether it, they were on time or not. But um, next year, if I am going, I definitely will be filming at Briarfest. But if not, I definitely will be filming more Briarfest, but not at Briarfest vlogs. So until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.